Hello everybody, and welcome back to Power World. This is episode 5, Power World. And... Last episode, we did a couple things. We caught a couple of really cool uh, battles. We got one of my favorites from yesterday, particularly. Is the King Packa, this chunkalicious boy. This absolute unit. I was honestly kind of surprised when I first saw this guy rocking around. I'm honestly even more surprised that we caught him so easily, too. Um, another surprising catch we had yesterday, Mamorous. Um, two Mamorous were fighting, and I was able to catch the one left over from the fight, and I was honestly pretty surprised when I caught that, because I've been trying to catch one of these for a while right now, and no luck. But, uh, yeah, let's see what else, what else we can, uh, catch, and, uh, progress further in Power World. Try and take on maybe more bosses. Um, I know for a fact there's more towers. I'm trying to take on and see what else there is. But uh, yeah, let's see what we get into. Alright, we're back and we found a new pal inside this cage. So we can go and take out these Cinder and Kitten Thugs really quickly and uh, get a new easy battle. Flambelle. When it starts firing, this pal produces magma off his, uh, in place of its tears. The magma that produces is absorbed into it back to its body, causing it to get hotter and hotter than when Christ stronger it becomes. Uh, see, now that seems like an actual, like, an actual injury. They're not like, uh, the little cat that was actually a mom. That's way better. So, we already have some sweeties, but there are a couple pals around here that I don't have yet. This guy's in the water, and this big one, this sweet one. I need some of my, uh, eggs. Alright, we got it. Um, now, also, the Kelpsy. I've seen these guys around, I think, before, but I've never actually tried to catch one. So, let me see if I can use a Mega Sphere. I might just use a Mega Sphere if it gets out, because I do have them. I did make them specifically so I could catch these other pals. Uh, I'd not actually expect to get out. Yeah! One more. There we go. That should work, then we should get one more pal closer to finishing the pal decks. Nice, nice, nice. I was actually just flying by, and I didn't even notice that these, uh, Mazarina were here. I've never seen these before. They look so calm. <laughs> I kinda don't wanna mess with them. But I got it. Um, let's see. You're the so person. On you. Catch. Oh, Max and Lift Link. It's gonna take a minute, but it's exactly good. <laughs> I like the attack, but it's so slow. Oh, we caught the Mazarina. Nice. That's another foul down. Another new foul right here. Ooh, and a there's tons of new pals over here, actually. A Broncherry, the Wooly, our Wooly Pop. I have not seen either of these. Yeah, we can. We saw our pal decks a lot right now. Oh, I accidentally left clicked. Oh yeah, I forgot. Memorist uh, often likes to run back a lot before they attack. Alright, let's see how much damage that'll do. Ooh! Well, I was not expecting that to happen. You see some new birds over here. Van Rims. Interesting. Is it like a bird dragon hybrid? Kind of looks like it. Uh, oh, let me try uh, Robin. Pretty oh, there's another Mega Sphere over here. I can uh, get to replace my other one. Nice. Blow yeah. on my feathers. Ooh, they're beating me off. I might just be able to actually catch one. Make sure there's nothing else around me that can clean me up. Oh, there's another one of those. Uh, uh, Brush cherries. Nice, we got a Van Rim. Uh, melody, uh, uh, the melodies of a flute made from an exoskeleton of uh, Van Rim are said to cross whole mountain ranges. In ages past, such flutes were used to signal, I believe it was talking, signaling attacks. Like a radiator or something? That's pretty cool. Oh, that was a nice crit. Ooh, that's gonna do a lot of damage. I actually think that I might want to take him away, yeah. 
Yeah, because he's about to take it down. Not the way that we want to. Oh, he got an attack off too. This thing is evasive. It attacks him immediately when he gets out. Alright. We might have it here. Yes, let's go. We got another uh, new battle. Bronchery. It's sweet. Uh, just, uh, it's scent. Just if he changes before and after pairing. It excludes a pleasing aroma after finding a partner, which is called Fragrant Love, I believe. It said. Very interesting. Another, uh, another pal down. Alright, we are back. Wait, what's going on over here? What's the glowy? Is this a shiny pal or something? I think that might actually be a shiny pal. What? Oh, this is this is really important. I, I don't want to mess this up. Um, let me call out Nightwing and get a better position in the situation. Because if that's a shiny pal or something, then I don't want to mess up catching that. Oh, don't want to get knocked out with any more ranged attacks. I have never seen that before. Like, it's glowing and shiny. Like, oh. Oh, no. I don't want to get knocked out in here. Hopefully none of them have any ranged attacks charged up. Okay, that one is ranged, but it's ranged. I was gonna say slow. Um. All right, well we're back, and it's now daytime, so maybe things will be a little more calm here. There's a lot of um, a lot of ca uh, pals that I haven't actually seen because I guess they spawn only at nighttime in these areas, and a lot of them sure spawn when it gets late. Um, because I was basically unable to have one-on-ones with anything. It's a shame that, uh, whatever that one pal was that might have been shiny or something? I'm not actually sure. I've never seen that effect on anything. Maybe he was just a really strong one that spawned in or something, because it wasn't a boss or anything. There's actually, like, a new boss or something over here that we should actually probably check out. Assuming that, you know, we can get a one-on-one -on -one fight with it. It might actually be this over here, this, uh, pedestal. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot more pals here that I gotta work on getting. Because this... <laughs> This isn't working. This isn't working very well. I mean, we caught him regardless, but dang. Yeah, we took a lot of damage just trying to catch it when it was basically already finished off. I gotta be careful. Oh, is that gonna hit the other one back there? Oh. Uh, that should be good. Uh, let's catch him. Uh, retrieve our guy. Um. Let's try and catch him. This guy's a fast attacker. Oh, it actually looks like that one over there is coming for us, too. Yeah. Okay, we were able to catch this one. Oh, and the level up. Caught 50 pals. That's our 50th pal right there. Oh, we gotta fight all of these guys now. I gotta make sure I don't get hit by any of these attacks. They will mess me up. Oh. Tornado might finish him off to the range. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright, so this is Bushi. Another, uh, pal boss. He's a fire pal. Uh, my guy's grass. I'm hoping. Ah, oh, but. Okay, so I'm assuming this game is like Pokemon. So I shouldn't probably use a grass guy against them. So maybe. King Pack, actually. That might be a better idea. Just in case, you know, fire is much more effective against you. You know that? No, because that pillar was there. Oh, just gotta jump over that. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna teleport. Oh, he teleports all the way to you. That has no range. I kind of thought that if I walked away, that I'd outrange it. No. Oh! Okay, I was not expecting that King Pack. I actually blocked him so I couldn't see it. Yeah, but I definitely think we can actually do that. We can definitely actually win that fight. Yep. And that attack, that attack won't, should mess him up. Yeah, okay, yeah, it did a decent amount of damage. He is fire, so I imagine it didn't do a whole lot against him as much as it could have. Um, 
I'm just gonna let that go, and then I'll probably, yeah, okay, I'll take him back now. Now we gotta try to catch, oh, we can't be missing those balls, I do not have a lot of these left over. Alright, 17, 40, let's go, we caught him, boss first kill, first catch, Bushi. Uh, its blade becomes a blade upon death, taking out by the next generation of someone other than a bushy wills that blade. The soul within torments them until I did not read the last word, but it sounds pretty cryptic. All right, well, I made a cooking pot, like a, a fancy one, and there are a lot more actual recipes you can make with this. Like, you can make mushroom stew. Like, there's a bunch more stuff than just what you can make in the uh, a little campfire. So that's nice. I guess I don't uh, need this anymore. So let me just get rid of that. And bam, now we have the campfire. One thing about this though, the campfire gave off a lot of light. This, not so much. But uh, very nice, very nice. That's, that's the thing. A lot more food options. Alright, so we just finished a pal condension, uh, condens condensation menu. Um, I'm really not sure what this do. Select base pal. Pal use, pal use as essence. Pals used as essence will be consumed. Okay, so they do have to be duplicates. Interesting. And that increases their rank, I see. Well, I don't think I have any enough pals of any type to actually really do that. So that's an interesting reason to collect duplicates, so you can make them stronger as well. I also put a rocky egg in this incubation, uh, incubation chamber. And let's see what we get from this, because I'm not really sure if I can know what Rocky eggs would be. Maybe a rush bore? That's probably like big. A dumud? What? Was, well, when to relax, its reaction time drastically declines, even if it were sliced from its head and tail. It probably wouldn't even realize it should be dead until I think it's what it said. Uh, probably the next morning. Very interesting. Uh, let me look up, see what the guy looks like. Uh, where is he at? Here he is. Um. Uh, I'll just replace him for now. He kind of looks like a land shark. <laughs> that is exactly what he is. He is a land shark. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, see, we're back at where we were catching uh, those serpents before. At this mine shaft. And I think there's a, a boss pal in here. Because if you look on the map, you can see there's a branch area, aqua. Which seems to be a special version of the brancheri. Looks like I might be right about that. That's level 30, though. I'm not sure if I would be able to bring that down. Uh, a blue version. In its own right, that could be considered shiny. Um, nothing really great in that chest. I'm tempted to go to the exit and then see how much damage my crossbow does because I think I'll be able to get a pretty good idea whether or not I could take that down right now. Uh, if I see how much damage my crossbow does. See, is this the exit? Alright, right, let's see. I am out of range. That makes sense. Uh, let's try it here. Four damage. I think I'll come back to that, but with that's definitely something we gotta take down later. What's going on over here? Oh, it's another glowing pal! That's interesting, very, very easy. We gotta catch that ribbony. I have no idea what's special about it, but I gotta have a crusher. I gotta make sure they don't uh, knock it out. Hopefully Bushi's able to help me take down some of these uh, syndicate thugs. I might try to catch that crusher, because he is a big guy. <laughs> Never mind, he is gone. He got obliterated by the Bushi. I gotta be really careful with this. Let me try and catch it. Oh, okay, bounced off the wall. Alright, we hit it. Okay, that's one. And okay, got out. Let's get around so he doesn't immediately hit us when he comes out, if it gets out again. We caught it. You captured a lucky pal. See what special abilities have? A lucky pal? Oh, I gotta see what that does. 
Actually, on the way back to base, I think I want to try and catch a loop moon. Uh, let me just get out Bushi. Yeah. Yeah, let me try to catch this real quick before we go back to base and see what that lucky pal is. Oh, he, he messed you up. That attack messed me up, though. Nice, I think we just caught it. Yeah. The horns on its head grow under the moon under the uh, moonlight. It doesn't hate the sun. The horns itch while sunlight hits them. Interesting. This lucky pal. Um That's 259. That seems like a high attack. What about uh because I have a ribbon, yes, yeah, she's right here. That's I mean it is higher level, but that seems like a lot more attack. Let me, let me, um, check the part. Uh, lucky. Plus 15% work speed, plus 15% attack. So if you find a lucky pal, they're just kind of overall better than the regular ones, I guess. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, we're back, and here's... Wow, that lucky pal is significantly bigger than Ribbony. I wonder... Is that because they're a lucky pal? Is that why they're so much bigger? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I have no idea why it would be that much bigger than it. But, uh, Lucky Pals seem to be bigger than their non-Lucky counterparts. And they also have a little, uh, little stars next to their name. That's, that's pretty cool. So, be on the lookout for some Lucky Pals. Uh, they're, they're just overall better than the regular ones, it seems. Okay, well, I was actually coming over here to uh, take down the uh, Ezerobe, but there's a Relaxosaurus here, and I really want to use a Relaxosaurus, because these guys look so funny. They're, like, my favorite design. It's so simple. But I, every time I try to catch one, I've ended up knocking it out. You know, if I'm not too careful, he might end up knocking me out. He's got some pretty fast attacks. Uh, one more in the body. Alright, uh, let's try and cat. Oh, he got one last attack off right at the end. I was not prepared for that. Come on. I think we got him. Nice! The Relaxosaurus. Contrary to his, uh, blaze appearance, he's quite ferocious and perceives anything in his sight as prey and will stop nothing to devour. Yeah! It does look so cute and so friendly to be so violent and so aggressive. It's wild. He's so aggro for no reason. Yeah, but that was nice. I, I actually really wanted one of those. Um, he's very strong. Like, incredibly strong. So, I'm not even worried about uh, going after a water type with uh, a fire type. So, he should do a nice attack, get a big chunk of damage. Honestly, I'm a little surprised at how little that was. Oh yeah, dad. Alright, I just gotta make sure I don't get knocked out. Oh, I didn't want to kill it, but... Um, we, we got him. We knocked him out, at the very least. But we definitely gotta come back here and catch one of these when they respawn. But, uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. I wish we had caught in it. But, uh, we'll just come back and fight it again. We actually leveled up and now are able to make Gigaspheres and the Weapon Workbench, as well as some other things like an uh, antique storage cabinet set for decorative, uh, bronze cherry saddle, that could be cool, uh, flame cauldron, enhance the placement base to improve the kindling, oh yeah, we definitely want that, so let's get the uh, Gigasphere, Weapon Workbench, Flame Cauldron, and let's let's get the bronze cherry uh, saddle, just just cause. Alright, so we finally got our brand new weapon. Uh, workbench. Now I'm wondering, oh yeah, this is where you can craft the uh, grappling guns. I had unlocked those a while back, and I'm like, where do I, where do I make these? And, because they're not in the uh, regular regular uh, workbench. I can't make them in here. I assume, because I scrolled down and saw that this was a thing, and you indeed can craft them in here. So, uh, we got a grin tail. This is one of the pals that I still need. Um... Let's try and catch him. I'm a little concerned to use Bushi because I feel like he absolutely just destroys everything you throw him at. 
Um, so let's try Rub. Might be a little more gentle. Um, maybe one more attack. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to call him back now. Uh, let's try it. 22%? You know, I say we could probably have it. Uh, never mind. 44%. Yeah. Back at the ball. 36%. Back at the ball. 36% again. Yeah. Oh, he almost got out on that one. Oh, 60. We got him. Nice. It's another boss down and another new pal added to the collection. Very nice. All right, guys. I'm gonna end this episode of uh, Pal World. Episode four, uh, episode five actually. Episode five, of Pound World. Um, we did quite a bit of stuff. We got into a couple new workbenches. Uh, got the new Pal uh, combiner or whatever. Uh, so you can combine pals together, and make them stronger. Uh, we caught a few bosses, a couple new pals actually. Some really cool ones in here. Uh, my favorite, the Relaxosaurus, and a couple other ones. We've had a very eventful day uh, catching pals and uh, filling up the Pal deck. Um, but stay tuned, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Um, once again, if you have any names that you'd like to see a pal be named for, uh, you got a name involved or you just want to be named yourself, if you have any of those, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below of that and we could name a pal after you or your name idea. Uh, have a wonderful day everybody and stay hydrated.